Okay, so my journey with the EVGA P55 Classified 200 continues. My uh, session attempt with my best Core i3 530 actually failed on the very cheap uh, Gigabyte H, uh, is it H55 UD2H. I couldn't actually reach any higher base clock with that board compared to the EVGA motherboard. So it could actually be that the base clock limit was just on the CPU. It could be actually good news because I first, first I thought that my board, so the EVGA board just has very bad base clock limit. But as it couldn't reach any higher on the Gigabyte board, which is uh, very well known that it can run very high base clocks, I'm not so sure about that anymore. So I binned some Core i5-750 CPUs and at least one is uh, quite promising. It can do like 4.63 W prime with 1.4 volts. So I think it's pretty good. There are two or three more that uh, are slightly below that, but I think this could be pretty good and it runs very, very hard, which could sometimes be good indicator for LN2 overclocking, but it doesn't always mean that. Sometimes the, co the lower like uh, heat output CPUs can be actually better than very uh, hot CPUs, so it's never a guarantee, but sometimes it can be. So now I'm running uh, the same BIOS Sniper as used for the 300 megahertz base clock uh, reference frequency record for this motherboard model, so it's from like September of 2010. Uh, T-Rex container, pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly. Now I'm running uh, LP the Hyper based memory, so Dominator GDX2, because when you run the base clock very high, you cannot use the higher multiplier anymore. So uh, the benefit or the possible benefit of power chip or LP the BBSE based memories kind of goes away, because at 2100, 2200, 2300 uh, frequency range, LP the Hypers can be much better. But uh, you can use whatever you wish. So I will uh, try with Hypers for now and we'll see how it goes. Uh, NVIDIA 6500 GT, just for the monitor, single as always with capture card and C Sonic Prime 1300 watt Platinum. So Windows XP and Server 2003 as always. So let's uh, hope for the best, let's see how this goes. So uh, I'll start at relatively easy numbers and work my way up. No heater plate. Just a normal uh, uh, backplate for the container, I mean, and Armorflex uh, sheet. So I don't actually remember, did I use the heater plate with the 875K, but usually these CPUs, they cannot run so cold anyway, so the heater plate isn't really necessary. But yeah, let's see how this goes. Okay, some issues as always with these Linfield CPUs, very hard to get the system to post well under cold so we have to start lower we are actually lower what we did on water which is just funny it's uh, only at minus 57 at the moment so not very good as you can imagine 21 is the max multiplier it's 4.6 Re uh, record range is only at like 5.2 something. But we cannot move like insanely amount inside the operating system. It's 4A, 1800, whatever. Because the round trip latencies, etc., they start to be an issue when you move the base clock too much inside the OS. So we really need higher post and boot, but it's just very hard, I don't get what's the problem. It's 4.935. We need like 250, something like this. So this is 5040. The 
CPU is definitely up for it, but it's just uh, very hard to post and boot settings, at least on uh, the EVGA board. I think Clarkdale is easier in general, but I really don't know. There's not that much experience yet. Okay, that's 5145, no idea on the top frequencies. I just, I'm just afraid of these base clock adjustments inside the OS. Because this is huge increase. And we hang. All right, guys, that was extremely hard top score to break. So the new W Prime 32 top score with the Core i5 750 at 5289, 5.735 previous top score by High Cookie from Taiwan, uh, 5.74, but a lower frequency because Windows Vista is just so good for this. So this was extremely hard. I found some little tweak settings that I that helped me to boot higher and overclock higher. So I can even go up about 5.3 from multi-core, etc. Huge result. 1024M is lower frequency, so I think it should be easier, but this is awesome. Damn awesome. Okay, that's the new top score in 1024M, but barely. I think it was 194 something seconds. 194.37, very good efficiency from that American guy at only 5082. So this was very quick and dirty run because I wanted to get this top score. Like two second improvement, but much higher frequency, but awesome anyways. Okay guys, this is probably the most important top score of them all. So the new top score with the Core i5-750 at 5.32 GHz, 6 minutes 55.860 seconds. The previous top score by High Cookie from Taiwan at 6 minutes 57.285. This is a bit higher CPU frequency, this was my first and only run. And uh, I discovered something new as well. For some reason, I can reach much higher clock speed in Windows XP compared to Server 2003, which is kind of interesting. So I have to use uh, Windows XP. I don't know if it's my particular uh, installation. I've seen it before on X58. So yeah, I just have to stick to uh, X, uh, XP for now. Memories are at 2026. 676 21 68 common rate one pretty straightforward and we crashed but we got the result and okay that's pretty much the end for now with the core i5 750 i just cannot do the pi fast 1m and validation top scores no matter what i try the maximum is somewhere close to 5.4 but uh, it's really not enough we need well over 5.4 to take the top scores like with uh, some certainty but anyways i managed to do the w primes but the W Prime 32 was extremely hard, so the new top score is 5.735. I managed to get 5.734, but it crashed. I couldn't open uh, explorer.exe, but we saw the actual result on screen with the capture card. 
so the new top score is uh, just like five milliseconds faster than the previous top score made by high cookie back in late 2009 so like uh, over 14 years ago so pretty phenomenal if you ask me 1024 m not the best efficiency i just ran it quickly just one time but it's uh, around two second improvement over the previous rank one score made by that american guy but we used higher frequency of 5.15 gigahertz then the superby 32m that one i managed to do because the uh, cpu frequency target wasn't so uh, high so i managed to get the new one with uh, just 5.32 gigahertz cpu overclock pretty decent memories they could have been better but still pretty okay if you ask me so around two second improvement i think two seconds or a bit under two seconds if i remember correctly it was six minutes 55 and the previous one by high cookie was six minutes 57 point something so uh, maybe the most important ones we managed to get but i would like to get the 1m and pi fast of course we got the rank 2 in pi fast and rank something in 1m so it's pretty okay but uh, the 750 is pretty tough we need very good cpu on ambient cooling and it also has to scale that's the harder part as well so uh, the cold scaling is not very good on these linfield cpus so it's pretty hard to estimate but so far now based on this we need a cpu that can do like 4.7 w prime 32 at 1.4 volts something like this now i might still have some i7 860 but if uh, it's not good enough i will move on to some other platform but yeah all of these top scores will be uploaded to hardwarebot.org by the time you are watching this video so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel maybe check out my patreon page as well if you want to support my work and yeah thanks for watching some new content with the evga p55 classified and that's pretty much it i will see you on the next one